hey guys welcome back in the course after discussing the very very basic uh, PHP commands and functions etc now it's time to uh, you know to discuss a little bit you know uh, powerful things like in this lecture we'll talk about include and require functions and after that get and post then sessions and cookies PHP mail and things like that but let's discuss include and require commands what they do first of all let me make a copy of this page um, say include underscore require dot php and remove this all stuff from here actually require and remove uh, include both are used to include other files other pages or different files into uh, HTML document or PHP document or wherever you want so you can say that it is an embedding function you can embed a, a page or a file from you know another page basically so for that you can use include or require function for example we have this page include underscore require dot PHP and we'll create another page in this page we'll create a table and this table will have a width of uh, 600 and height uh, not a line will be center and border will be 2px 2 pixels and uh, the main thing uh, will be bg color one more which will be orange this is a table basically huh? inside the table we have tr and inside the tr tag we have tds th basically we said uh, name father Age phone simple in the next tr we have added some tds basically we said name is abdul father name is javed sorry habib TD uh, ages 26 this is just the data inside the table and the next TD phone number is something like one of numbers anything and I will add some copy this TD and will just make some duplicate data demi data like control s to save this page with the table dot HTML this is HTML file not PHP file so you can include any file any page using that include and require command whether it is HTML page JavaScript page or you know PHP page whatever this is table dot PHP page it always to save ok now come here if you go to this page I mean table dot HTML here so if you go there you will see this table here uh, this is the table here you can see this is table.html page okay now we have this page include require underscore required at php using a single line of code we can include this page here we'll say include and in the this is a function so include in inside the two parentheses and two uh, inverted commas we'll say table.html let's to save now come back here and click this include underscore require page you will see the table is here just that has been included just by this single line of code we create another page for example and in this page if we say form action action is equal to nothing in method is post in this form 
put some input text name is equal to name okay this one will be submit value will be submit br take to make line breaks okay so this is a form basically i will save it form.html inside the same php underscore tutorials folder now this is a form i want to include basically i already have included this in using include the table one now i will say require i will say require form.html Control S to save. Now refresh the page, and you can see the form here. That's it. And you can also use require underscore once. This is also a function, which you can get a file or show a file, add a file to this page but that will be added uh, once only once so I say table for example the same again control is to save refresh the page that will not be added because that is already been included in this page so you can also use include once or require once or include or require so any page outside that you can include in the same page and this is very easy function and very very useful and we will be actually uh, using this in projects sometimes so basically this is a very good function now in the next lecture we will talk about get and post methods in PHP